Hello and welcome to another Art House Movie Review. This time I'm reviewing the film Plan 75, directed by Chia Hayakawa. So this is a film about a voluntary euthanasia scheme in Japan for the over 75s, where for a thousand dollars and a sense of satisfaction of making the the sacrifice to help the Japanese economy. People sign up to this program to have their lives terminated. And I saw the trailer for this film and I thought I knew the type of film that it was going to be. The trailer very much suggests quite an emotional journey, the music, the person who agrees to have her life terminated to be in the scheme, but then has these experiences which make her regret it and she doesn't want to be in it anymore. And I was kind of expecting it to be a cliche but enjoyable telling of that story. In fact, the film turned out to be quite different than the tone of the trailer. It's very dark and very sombre, and at times quite weird. It's kind of a dystopian nightmare, but in a very polite and gentle Japanese way. Although there are times when the film feels quite horrific, it's never violent or unpleasant or excessively horrible. And I think this is a film about how capitalism finds ways to adjust in order to sustain itself. Because ultimately this is a film about the economics of caring for an aging population. The elderly are becoming too expensive, so a scheme is designed as a kind of palatable way of dealing, of getting rid of the problem. Now, although there are many things to like about this film, and I did quite enjoy it, I never really felt any emotional connection to any of the characters. There isn't really a focus on one character, rather we're presented with this selection of characters who kind of represent all the different sides of this euthanasia plan. We follow some of the people taking up the scheme, and we particularly do focus on two people. But we also see some of the employees in the scheme, and the way they talk about the scheme in the office, the way that this is actually a business. And although it's presented in some kind of way in which it's a welfare scheme, it's actually a scheme about making money and making sure that these people go through with it. There's also an interesting angle in terms of the the role of immigrant workers and how these really unpalatable jobs are often done by people from outside of the country. As I say, it is very dark and somber, and I do think it is quite an interesting look at the issue from the various sides. One thing that did slightly bother me was just how little security there seemed to be in this place around the people's belongings or indeed even their bodies. It's a small thing, but I just found this a little bit unconvincing because surely such a scheme would have a sophisticated regulatory system. And I'm not really sure about the closing scene. I think it's meant to be optimistic, the kind of sense of a new dawn, a sunrise. But this woman has no place to live. Her friends died, she's got no job, she has absolutely nothing. So it doesn't really feel very optimistic. But I guess that's the point. It, in the end, this is a dystopian nightmare. Now, one thing that I do have to acknowledge is that I saw this film on a cinema day in London on the same day that I'd seen Blue Caftan. And I will be reviewing Blue Caftan, but I found that film a profound and moving experience. And I do find that if I have a film day when I see two or three films, my attitude to the second and third film can be affected by how well I've received the first film. So I always try to choose the order carefully, that if I think I'm really going to connect with the film, I always make sure I see that last. But sometimes I get it wrong. And this day I definitely got it wrong because Blue Captain, sh I shouldn't have watched another film immediately after it. My palate wasn't sufficiently cleansed and therefore maybe I'm misjudging Plan 75 in some way. All that said, I did quite enjoy it. I do think it's a worthwhile watch, but I didn't find it that special. Thanks for watching. See you next time.